Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota Sienna SC Technology. Now the most suitable features on this SC Technology is its DVD player, you also have your blind spot monitoring, and your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle, just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota Sienna SC Technology. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SE is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look, just over on the side, you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your body side moldings on here as well, foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. Taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just looking at there is another vehicle right beside you. I'm just going to quickly show you what your second row is going to look like. So if we take a look on the inside here, you have captain seats in the second row and then you also have the window shades just located in the second and third row windows. If you take a look at the top here, you have the DVD player just so you can entertain the kids on those long trips. To actually close the door, it's just located on the inside here. So you just have to push on the button once and it will close for you automatically. Now parents, if you're worried about your hands or possibly your kids getting their arm or hands jammed to the door, it has the jam protection feature. So in the event that the door does sense that there's an obstruction in the way, it'll open itself back up automatically. And then if you want to just close it from the outside, just pull on the handle once more. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as front seats, as you can see you do have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support, traction control on and off, blind spot monitoring on and off, and then if you take a look on the inside of the driver's side door, you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function, mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. It does offer you the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, if you take a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. You have a digital speedometer with the distance to empty fuel economy. You can also go through and take a look at your compass, audio, messages, and your settings menu. So if you take a look on the inside, you have your ECT power as well as a couple of other additional settings just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Taking a closer look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features. So if you go inside the apps menu, you have your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Down below you have your hazard lights, you have your temperature control settings located down below with your rear temperature controls as well. Mounted to an automatic transmission. And taking a look just down below here, if you actually take a look, you do have your USB and auxiliary input with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with your power outlet and additional one just located down below. Up at the top you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and then you'll also find the open and close for the power moonroof, power sliding rear doors and power lift gate, sun glass case holder and then I'm just going to show you what the backup camera looks like so as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now looking on the back of your tailgate, you'll see your backup camera just on your far left hand side and the rear hatch release located in the center. Now closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have an additional set of rims and tires on the back. And that, just to showcase exactly how much room you have just with the third row down, I'm just going to close in on it in the back here. Now, normally you would have a middle seat for the second row, but it's stored in the back here just in case you're not using it. But if you are using it, then it actually acts as additional cargo space for yourself. And then when the seats are folded up, there's still cargo space located down below there, just in case you do need it. Now, the other nice thing with this SC Tech is it does come with the cargo liner in the back, which is nice, because in the event that you spill any liquids back here, it makes things a little bit easier for you to clean up afterwards, just because you can have it removed and clean up properly. It does have a 60-40 split for the third row, and then on the right-hand side, you'll find that power outlet. Now, when you're all finished up, all you have to do is just push on the back of the tailgate once, and it will close for you automatically, making things a lot easier for you, especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids' sports bags. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.